Hello all, this video explains how to install MPLAB X along with XE8 compiler and also demonstrates how to write and execute your first program for PIC16F877A controller. Google for MPLAB X download and visit the microchip website. Click on downloads and then download the MPLAB X IDE and then scroll down and select the XC8 compiler for download. Save both the downloaded files in a single folder. Now click on MPLAB X uh, Windows installer to start the installation. MPLAB X IDE installation starts. Click on next and then accept the agreement and then leave the installation to default directory. Setup installs MPLAB X IDE. If you leave this tick mark, you will be directed to the download link of XE8 compiler as we have already downloaded XE8. Untick this and then click on finish. Now start the XE8 compiler installation now. Click on next and then accept agreement. Leave the installation to the default directory. Under compiler settings you can tick all the options and click on next. Now the XE8 compiler has been installed. I'm using a PIC development board for this demo. In this board, the port pins are extended for easy connection using jumper wires. At RB7, the LED is connected using a jumper wire. An external adapter of 12 volt 1 amps is used to power the board. The PIC 16 of 877 IC is to be placed on, on the ZIF socket so that pin 1 matches the handle. In these types of uh, boards, always pin 1 is near the handle. Port B RB7 is connected to an LED using jumper wire. A PIC2 programmer is used to uh, fuse the hex files. As the target IC is on the demo board, I am removing the ICSP connector from PIC2. The ground pins of the connector should match that of the development board. Ensure that VPP of uh, PIC2 goes to MCLR, VDD goes to plus 5 volt. DAT to PGD, CLK to PGC and then ground to ground. Now connect the PICI2 to USB port of PC. Now the setup is ready for uh, fusing hex file and testing. Open the MPLAB IDE. The IDE has four pens. File pane, editor pane, navigation pane, and then the task pane. To start a new project, click on file and then new project. And then select the microchip embedded standalone project. Click on next. Now you have to select the device. Select as PIC 16F877A. You can straight away type in the uh, device or you can from the uh, drop down you can select the IC 16F877A. Click on next. Now you have to select the tool used for programming. Here I am using Picit 2. Click on next. On next screen, you have to select the compiler as XE8. If XE8 is not seen here, you have to recheck the installation again. Click on next and then provide a project name as uh, LED Blink. You can browse and uh, store it on a uh, wanted location. 
click on finish to see the project files on the file pane. To write your C code, right click on source files and then select new C main file. Provide a name to the C file and then select the extension as .c from the drop down. Now click on finish. You can see some code generated on the editor pane. For now delete this code. First step is to set the configuration bits. Click on window, pick memory views and then configuration bits. On the task pane you get the configuration bits. First we have to set the FOSC. Select HS from the drop down. This is for using a high value external crystal on the demo board. You can leave all other bits off and then click on generate source code button at the bottom. Now you get the pragma configuration codes. Select all this configuration code generated and then copy it. Paste it on to the editor pane. The first line of the config code is uh, hash include xc.h. This uh, preprocessor macro tells the compiler to include the header file. Now the compiler will understand chip specific words like uh, trace, port, etc. On top of this uh, include statement, you have to define the crystal value. We are using 20 megahertz. So uh, write 20 followed by 6 zeros. This value should match uh, the value on the uh, demo board. Otherwise you will get delay function errors. The first function is the main function. The entire program resides within this main function. Wide keyword in front of the main indicates that no written data is expected. The parenthesis after main is for arguments or data to pass to the function. In this case no data to pass so we can leave it blank or write void. Next open braces and then click on enter. MPLAB X will provide automatically close brace. We need to access two registers inside microcontroller to control any IO pin. Trice and port registers. Trice controls whether a pin uh, acts as input or output, port register controls whether uh, a pin is at level high or low, that is on or off. Trice B is assigned all zeros, indicating all port B pins are output. Zero is for output and one indicates input. Uh, port B is then initialized as all zeros, that is all pins are at low level. Note that all statements end up with a semicolon. Now we start the never ending loop. This never ending loop is created using while statement. The condition is always set to true that is 1. So the loop is executed forever. Inside the loop we set the LSB bit RB7 as high. This is achieved by uh, writing port B as uh, uh, 000, 001. That is only the LSB bit is made high. RB7, uh, the LED connected at RB7 is made high. That is, it will glow. Next, we provide a delay of 1 second. That is written as 1000 milliseconds. Note the usage of double underscore before the delay and uh, single underscore after the delay. Then we make the RB7 bit low and again provide a delay. That is port B. All pins are made low. And then we provide a delay again. The whole function repeats forever thus blinking the LED at pin RB7.
now uh, click on run build main project if you have followed all the syntax correctly you get build successful at the task pane now you can click on a uh, run run main project to load the hex file onto the uh, target ic as the picket 2 is connected to icsp of uh, target demo board the hex file is automatically loaded onto the ic and then the led at pin uh, rb7 blinks you can see programming target and then the uh, hex file is uh, loaded and executed you can see the led at uh, pin rb7 is blinking it is on for one second and again off for another second no other pins uh, are made high so only the led at rb7 blinks now we'll see how to program the same code using bit masking technique define a constant say led mask uh, a binary value we need to toggle rb7 bit so assign led ma mask as binary 000 001 only the uh, rb7 we are going to toggle and inside the while loop we use the or operator to set the bit port b we have to or with the led mask and again assign back to port b this will set the rb7 bit in short you can write port b or equals led mask this will set the bit at rb7 and the led at rb7 will glow after the delay we have to clear the bit to clear the bit we use exclusive or operator that is port b is uh, exclusive or with uh, led mask and again uh, assign to port b this can be written as port b exclusive or equals led mask this will clear the last bit so, so to set a bit you have to use the or operator to clear the bit you have to use the exclusive or operator now build and uh, run the project to see the led blinking by changing the bits of led mask we can control any other bit of the port for example change the bit rb5 to 1 you make all other bits 0 uh, you make rb5 to 1 you need not change any other things on the code just build and run now you can see led at rb5 blinks you shift the jumper wire from rb7 to rb5 you can see the led blinking just by setting the bits on the led mask constant we achieve this thank you for watching